Tal Flub guys, welcome back to another episode, um, part one of a two part episode that we're gonna merge into one big episode, which stems from Saturday and the preparation of the Um up until Sunday when we actually do the Um. um special thoughts out to all angle members, hope everyone's doing well. You guys see, I'm just finished cleaning up the for the Um, so just sorted out the rocks to the side. Um, dumped out all the ash and now just realigning the support logs and then we're going to pack it um, pack the rocks back inside only the small rock after that we'll head to the plantation uh, to check up on the farm and the cattle as well to pour some water uh, we'll hopefully grab some tarot there as well for tour night tomorrow so hope you guys enjoy today's contents which will go all the way up till tomorrow um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Alright guys, so we're finally here at the cattle farm. I'm just going to pour some water for the cows. Um, and then I'll show you guys. We have had we had an issue with the car uh, about two weeks ago. Um, and sort of did a poor man's fix. Um, just to get it, you know, back on the road again. Especially with the water for the cows. So I'll show you guys that um, after I pour the water for the cow. Big... Hello, hello. Nick. Okay, so I got a little bit worried here um, because we had two cows missing. Well, we actually had three cows missing. Um, we had a white and black bull that was here. It started uh, um, planning. The bull wanted to go rogue, so no, no longer could find it. But the odd thing about it was that there was nothing wrong with the fencing. Um, so the bull is gone now. I'm not sure. We're, we're going to have to go find it wherever it is. Which brings us to two, and that's the last two that are actually coming at the moment. So that one, and that one. So now all the cows are counted, accounted for. Except for the bull. But this bull here, which is Suki's son, is actually coming along very well. Probably give it another, I don't know, eight more months. And uh, he should be breeding in that breeding phase. This one's very naughty, very hard to go. Alright, fam, so we're just on this side of the plantation. I'm just gonna go get some luau, but also just check and see if we can find some taro. Um, I think there's still some tarot in and around here, so definitely check it out. All right, it's not a bad uli. We'll take it. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. That's the only bit that was sticking out, but look at the size of the corn that was underneath. Jeez. Oh. Well. So, I'm mostly focusing on taro that we've missed during the previous harvest, but also taro, um, the ulis. Um, we can leave the other taro that's growing, also the planting material, but I want to look, look for the ulis and taros that we missed. And that taro is a taro we missed, that huge one. 
All right, guys, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven Ma'amori Wheeler. <laughs> no, but it's good, it's good. Remember, guys, I said we're only looking for the the Uli's and uh, some mist taro. But we'll sample one or two of the taros from the plot up there that's about two months left to harvest. Checking on the bananas. We've got one that's almost ripe. So you guys see the kitty? The kit is that stick there that's holding up the banana because it's getting heavy. Got another one down on the far side there. Man, that one looks really good. So these are Fight Balang Maui. Got a few in the front there. Um, I want to do a lot of these banana plantations, but the cows here, there's just too many roaming cows that we, the past time, uh, when we did this before the banana plantations, most of the shoots didn't have, didn't even get time to grow because the cows kept eating them. So it's one of those things. First, gotta take care of the cow problem before we take uh, start planting it. But I'm gonna get some luau's now. All right, guys. So we've got our luau here. But look at this taro. I'm, I think I've only seen this twice now on the plantation. But it's got a really shiny leaf, different from the usual leaves, see that? This one's actually shiny, so I'm going to take um, a few of these back home with me and plant it next to the house, just so that we can see what kind of taro this is. Because obviously there's a lot of um, crossbreeding going on in the plantation that we don't know about, just the natural process of things. Um, so we're going to take it back home with us. Alright guys, so we're going to head off now. Got our tiapula there for that taro I showed you. Our taro underneath. And then our luau. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. We're going to head off. Sun's going down. Beautiful day in Samoa. Saturday here. Tomorrow is sun. So we're just going to pick up um, just two taros from the top. Uh, portion where the harvest is set for two months from now. So after that, then we'll head home. So I'm just going to focus on the cycle variety, just to see. This one, this one looks like a cycle as well. It's very loose. So yeah. I think we are good for two months. So if you guys see, so see some of these taros here. See how the base is still wide. Once it gets to the after that two months, all the growth die down a little bit, and you'll see the taro become really big. See, that? see how wide that is. So it's still growing, but as it as the growth starts to seize, you'll start seeing. There we go. You'll start seeing it expand a lot bigger. But yeah, two months seems perfect. So we're gonna head off, head off, head off home now, guys. If you've enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Just want to say thank you for joining along today. We'll definitely catch you guys on our next episode. No, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Um, when we start prepping for the um, but I'm going to head off home, finish preparing the um for tomorrow, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. Until then, take care. God bless. See you soon.
Love and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode here on our channel, Sunday Cooking Episode. Special talafa to our Ainga members. Um, if I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's raining at the moment, um, so another wet Sunday morning. Um, fairly simple umu today. It'll just be kalo and luau, and uh, I think a few breadfruit. I'll try and throw in some bananas, but we're just gonna do a soup. Um, and we'll do it here in the Mkuka. So I'm just going to get started on the taro um, as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm still half asleep. But I got my coffee. Coffee. All right. And that's our taro then. Well, we got from the plantation yesterday. So just going to get into it now, guys. It's 10 to 6. Alright fam, so we've just finished the taro, it's about a little after 6.30 at the moment, um, but I need to get started on the coconuts, and once that's done we'll push them. Alright guys, got our coconut here, not that many luau, so I'm gonna grab, grab the kango, and then we'll start scraping the coconuts. Okay, so coconut is done. I'm gonna start the uh, honey.
every salon in Lofa. Uh, Alright guys, so I was now done. I'm just gonna wait for the rocks to get hot. It is a bit cold, so I'm gonna cover them with the coconut husks and then give it another half an hour until it heats up really well. Then we'll cow them. Right guys, oh geez. Sorry about that guys. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Alright guys, so the um was almost ready um, to be, um, you know, cooked and stuff. Um, so I'm thinking because our only food for today is supo, um, the shin bones, beef shin bones. So I am going to take some of that material that's burning and then transfer it to here. And then we'll put the ulo on it with the, the soup bones inside and... Yeah, that's two birds, one stone. Eek, yeah, ready, come up.
fam. I'm moving now on. Just gotta take a little break and we'll start with our cooking. Should be fairly quick. Um, I just need to value the mokingi, cut in the tomatoes, and then capis. Uh, also, we have to fry the sausage, so. guys I'm just gonna take my phone to charge battery is around 20% now um, while I quickly get on to the veggies and stuff and then hopefully we'll be back when the almost ready all right guys welcome back um, I think it's about four more minutes before we um, with the umu. we can make it five but to show you guys the soup so already add in onions, tomatoes and the cucumbers and not the cucumbers, the onions, tomatoes and the pumpkin um, just so that it builds us builds up some stock for a bit. We're gonna give them one maybe another five minutes and uh, I think we should be good. smell the smell is magnificent Just finished food with the umu, so I'm gonna take it uh, to the house and get the food ready because that's uh, it's taking it's a little after 10 now. So, um, check so yeah, looks good. Uh, maybe could have done it five minutes earlier, but that's all right. We've got the luau here, the ulu here, or the kalo, and we had some ulu that we just heated up on the umu. Uh, we could have did it, you know, like I said, could have did it five minutes earlier, but I guess it's still okay. Um, and I was taking off the leaves. But it's okay. Look at that. Beautiful. I'd say that's uh, it's pretty good. Luau still feels heavy, you know. Because sometimes if it, it's too hot, um, it just burns everything inside. So um, it's a good sign. But we're going to take this to the house. And then uh, get the food, other stuff on the way. Alright guys. Um, but we're gonna do something different this Sunday. We're gonna try out my luau and kalo. Now, it is a pure luau and momo. And I'm like, what go for? Po sound a little momi and you might eat my eases. Ah, po no over the onga. Ah, then I'll a kofu. You're mocking water. I will lay. And I'm thinking, I am kofat. Kill for a pieces for more more. I did. The aim at time, but I they or a coffee. Wait, yeah, sick. You are violent. I'll pop pushing you on. Oh, I'll pick it. Oh, but on what? Ah, 
Ai, ó. Ai, tô aí. Olha lá, eu caí meu mal. Olha. Vou lá, eu pico daí que quer, tem o cão. Ele cofou, eu não sei que era uma favor, o cão cofou seu lugar. Uma. Uma coisa. Uma coisa só. Lá vai pra peru, né? Hahaha. Olha lá, eu caí meu mal. Aí eu ia com o Pascal, irmão. Camaro Audi. Pink cama IP ala, vai. Let's go. Vou pegar comer aí. Tá com o cão lá. Tá com o coelho. A mexer no coco foco. Vem lá, vem só um alemão, meu marrom. Ei, vou lá só o amor é a sua. O vaso quer pôr sangue. Não é mangue. Cá. Ok. Lá, lá foi com a pici a cama. Ah, lá foi com o capis. Coi fave. Muka sih rafinya. Kaki ada yang iya dua dah aku. Aku villa kama. Yang asa ayu kamu so. Alright guys, so just uh, rekindling the fire a bit um, so that we can get this show on the road. <sighs> really tired, eh? But um, yeah, guys, just wanted to say we made it this far. I just want to say thank you guys um, for joining the channel. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing, and thank you to our old subscribers, our Aing members. <sighs> One of the the reasons why I like making this chat like videos and stuff is because I pride myself in being genuine um, you know tell it raw you know so see had it been like you know if the Omo was like that more I would probably wouldn't even show it well you know it's been like two three Sundays now with no gas and stuff um, we've been cooking here well, tell it how it is you know no fancy cuts or anything just keep it real guys and show you the real island life you know but yeah guys just feeling really tired honestly um after this we've got the sausages to fry um yeah we're gonna we're gonna fry it over here um but then after that we should be good oh i might have to take away that it's burning now <laughs> Alright guys, gonna add in the damn chickens. Gonna add in the noodles now. It wouldn't be a salmon soup without the noodles. Church is finished. I need to get started on sausages.
sorry fam, the sausages is finished. Uh, we're gonna head to have tonight. I'll get the results for us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, guys. So we finally come to the end of the episode. If you made it this far, just want to say thank you. I'll show you guys the results now. We've got our taro on the verge of burning. Our soup, our sausage, and our luau. A very simple Sunday. A simple, well, 50 50. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna enjoy this now, family. I uh, just wanna say this. We're gonna end off now, guys. Just wanna say thank you again for the support. Definitely catch you guys on our next episode. But until then, God bless. Take care, stay safe. See you guys.